Yep. Alright, welcome to the uh, first episode of Back When for uh, Gargoyles for the Sega Genesis from Buena Vista. Let's go ahead and get started. This is a cartoon back in 1994. I believe its run was 94 to 97. I wish I remember more detail about it. I remember Goliath was the name of the head vampire, and there was a police officer. And, well, basically, I guess people attacking the castle where the gargoyles live. They, uh. They, they get frozen or something for a millennium, and then they wake up and it's 1999, and. Some billionaire named David Xanatos, I think. He has part of the castle dismantled and then flown and attached to his high rise in New York or something to that effect. Uh, he's a real creep. That much I remember. He's the main antagonist. And there's several gargoyles. I remember Goliath the most as he was like the main character. And there was a police officer named Eliza, Elisa, something. I don't know. Maybe I should do my research for starting this video. I don't know. But, picked this up at a uh, flea market slash super yard sale not too long ago. Seemed kind of fun. Well, I guess it didn't because I never played it before, but I, I have fond memories of the television series. So I figured, yeah, well, let me see how this is. That seemed to work. Alright, so, um, I'm actually playing this on an FC3 Plus, because I don't have a traditional Sega Genesis. And on that controller, you, it, it's somewhat modeled after the, uh, six button, uh, Genesis controller. Not nearly as good. Well, actually, eight button, there's two buttons on the top. But, uh, A is to throw, B is to slash, and then C is to jump, and then glide. Or as the, as the uh, options say, flat. So you make your way through the castle here. And I'll be honest with you, um, I'm probably going to get stuck a bunch, only because it's just hard to really tell where you're supposed to go. You can also burst through walls, double tapping and then hitting the uh, the B button. And somebody's throwing rather large Snickers bars at me, apparently. So we have to put stop to that. Can't have that. That could hurt. So climb up this wall. Oh, wait, that hurt. Can I throw this person? Throwing seems to be very effective when it works. But you can't always do it, though. It's funny that the grunting was like a man, and then the scream uh, was quite a bit higher pitched. But whatever. You can jump through the walls. Right, that worked really well. Okay, can I jump through this wall? Yes, I can. And I guess you gotta grab these coins and stuff. What I do remember of the cartoon was that it was kind of dark uh, in tone, and actually it was just dark. But there were definitely some, uh, it seemed like more of a mature cartoon, just some of the themes and things. And the gargoyles, even though, of course, they're quite old and they're strong so on and so forth they were still very vulnerable to uh, the attacks and uh, of the main antagonist I think his name was David Xanatos who I think eventually created some sort of uh, robotic versions of all of the uh, the gargoyles I don't know I wish it was on Netflix I Take a walk down memory lane, but until that day, I guess I'll just have to wonder. And I guess you're picking up. 
I don't know, think horns or something. I don't know what that stuff is. So. You know, think about 1994. This looked pretty good. The animation was pretty good. You can definitely tell who the characters are supposed to be. Definitely seems like a quality product. Nicer if you could see a little better up what's going on around you, because it's not as hard to tell whether or not you can really climb up or or what. And this man has a seemingly infinite supply of hot oil that he's dumping. He seems to empty it out and it magically fills back up. Astounding. I, I have to take him out. He can't dump hot oil on me and get away with it. Maybe not. No scream this time. Dang. And you jump on the catapults. This is kind of hard to see. But they're trying to show you that the castle has obviously uh, been pretty battered and bruised. But when you're behind the parts, you can't really tell what's going on. Oh, I'm Goliath. I'll be a gargoyle today. Alright. I can bust through that wall, I believe. Let's see. And there we are. I climb up. Oop. Got hit. Got hit again. Okay, I'm not doing this right, apparently. Okay, if they're gonna dump oil on both sides, that's gonna make this kinda difficult for me to get up there. Doyle umping Doyle. Oil dumping days are over. Can't even talk. Okay. I can run. There we go. I want to go this way. Some oil. Why it explodes? Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, now the question is where do I go from here? I don't think I can bust through the wall without. Oh, there I can. Really is difficult to see. Take that and that. in the lower left you see that's my health and it says 8. I don't know what that means so I don't know. guess as good as mine okay. just button mash until it looked like I was doing something Okay, I'm at the, I guess, the second portion of the level. Kill this guy real quick. Okay, 
ain't not really enough time to get in there. Let's see. Oh, there we go. It took me like 10 minutes when I first started playing this to figure out how I had to jump to, you know, down through the thing. And of course, if you watch the, uh, the demo mode, they show you doing that. That would have been a nice indicator. Hindsight is 2020, right? Watch the fire that is clinging to the walls. Ah! I don't like that. Right, let's climb, you fool. This time, buddy. Want to die? Okay, like, do something. Kill or be killed. Well, got killed. And they start me right from here. Oh, those are the lives I have. Now I have seven. Great. Just gonna ignore those two. Nope, guess I gotta go back down. Nope, I'm gonna ignore them. So I'm assuming that this follows the storyline of the show. This is the castle being attacked, and then I guess you all fall under some kind of spell or something, and then you wake up and it's 1994. Good year. I don't, I don't remember 1994 that much. I guess I was a, a freshman in high school. Freshman or a sophomore. One of the two. We are here. You're dead. Click these horns or goblets, whatever those things are. You know, Gargoyle always love to have a nice collection of goblets. Oh, come on, stop falling. Great. It's kind of nice. You get eight lives, though. This game, you get like three. Like eight lives and no continues though, but only time will tell. Oh, the jumping, the jumping. Snicker bars again. That for some reason explode. Maybe it's all that nougat. Who is doing this? And where are the Snicker bars dropping from? This is madness. Ah. This is not going very well for me. Okay. 
here. Go up here. Alright. Oh, come! What was that? I was right up against the wall. to piss me off now. I if I could just stay on one side. I guess not. Nope. When you get up to the top, they send one so Usually here, they're spaced out so I can stand here safely and time it. Once you get up here, they send two that are less than your entire body length, so you really don't have an option on it. And then just, uh. what, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> See, I can climb that if I move fast. Okay. And I can stand here. But I can't stand here because there's one coming right there. What, what is the point? You've got to be kidding. You can't stand anywhere up there. I guess it is possible. Move really fast once you get to the top. Where am I now? Who was that? Thor? What? Okay, this is fair. Store, but he has antlers on, apparently. Of course, I'm almost dead. Great. If, you, if he gets a chance to send the lightning out, you're pretty much done. Yeah, real fair. Whack-a-mole. Except the mole has a hammer. Oh, maybe it is Thor, because it wasn't, wasn't this in... I don't know, I thought it was Vikings or whatever. I don't know. It's like this stupid game of Whack-a-mole. So he's getting hit by his own lightning. Wow. Yeah, that, I guess that was a Thor-like character. Level 2, Siege of the Rookery. Wow, he felt really... Really? I don't even get full health? Stupid. At least they start you off right from there. But I still doubt that you actually get Hit him. You're a gargoyle, like Why is that screaming again? Animation though, pretty good. When you, when you know when you get the, the momentum going and the jumping, oh, that's pretty cool. But I think of you. Shut up.
Okay, that worked out last time, but not this time. Okay. I'll back up here. What am I supposed to be doing? I'm assuming I have to go up there, but it's not letting me actually go. Alright, you've seen enough. Um, Gargoyles for the Sega Genesis. You get the idea. Alright. GameWithDoose.com Podcast videos. If you made it this far, go ahead and subscribe. Watch something else. Tell a friend. Alright. Go do something else.